China and the US, among other nations, are looking to develop combat-ready high-energy laser weapons that can generate beams strong enough to melt steel. China has pursued military laser weapons since the 1960s and has developed an impressing arsenal of such systems in recent decades. Chinese scientists claim they have found a way to build a laser weapon that can be fired indefinitely, which would dramatically increase its effectiveness over other laser weapons being developed by other countries such as the US, UK, and others. If their claims are true, it means that China has leapfrogged over the US in developing high-energy laser weapons that could be used on the battlefield. When China publicly rolled out its latest high-energy laser weapon to the world during its massive military parade in Beijing last week, another family of directed energy systems was quietly working behind the scenes to scan the skies for hostile drones. China deployed laser weapons to watch over its massive military parade. Five different high-energy laser systems were stationed across Beijing to counter potential drone threats. Researchers at the National University of Defense Technology, a military research institution in Hunan, said they developed a cooling system that allowed high-energy lasers to remain powered up without getting too hot. The system is a huge breakthrough in improving the performance of high-energy laser systems. High-quality beams can be produced not only in the first second but also maintained indefinitely, laser beams can heat up gas in the air, which can reduce the quality of the beam and cause damage inside the laser chamber, the report said. To bypass this issue, the scientists said, they developed a system that could blow clean gas through the chamber and remove waste heat. This allowed them to make the laser more compact and efficient. China and the US, among other nations, are looking to develop combat-ready high-energy laser weapons that can generate beams strong enough to melt steel. High-powered laser weapons have the potential to be a game-changing technology for warfare and defense because they could shoot targets such as drones, missiles, and small aircraft at nearly the speed of light at a fraction of the cost of interceptor missiles. A challenge, though, has been cool-down time. Steve Weaver, a former British military official, said that if the news on the achievement by the Chinese scientists was true, it would put China ahead of the US in more ways than one. This is a big breakthrough considering the U.S. failures in this area, he said, highlighting a section of the South China Morning Post report pointing to U.S. military systems that didn't quite meet expectations. Major defense companies in the U.S. have also been pushing forward the development of laser-based weapons as part of projects including the U.S. Department of Defense's High Energy Laser Scaling Initiative. The beams could be used to defend sites from incoming threats. So far, many advanced designs and research progress on dynamic air-blowing thermal management in China have not been reported, the scientists said, this is the first time that some of the designs have gone to the public. When China publicly rolled out its latest high-energy laser weapon to the world during its massive military parade in Beijing last week, another family of directed energy systems was quietly working behind the scenes to scan the skies for hostile drones. Five different high-energy laser systems were stationed across Beijing to counter potential drone threats. The country's state-run Aviation Industry Corporation of China AVIC revealed in a Weibo post on September 10 that it had deployed five different laser weapon systems near Tiananmen's Qianmen Gate, the Wangfujing District, and the Beijing Capital International Airport for drone control during the parade, which marked the 80th anniversary of Japan's defeat at the end of World War II. The laser weapons, which included AVIC's Light Arrow 11E and Light Arrow 21 as systems, accurately identified targets multiple times, successfully completing the parade support mission, the company stated. China has pursued military laser weapons since the 1960s and has developed an impressing arsenal of such systems in recent decades. AVIC in particular previously showcased its light arrow and sky shield families of laser weapons at the Zhuhai Air Show in November 2024, including a ground-based sentry drone reportedly developed with independent and autonomous combat capabilities, as the state-run news agency Xinhua described it in a now-deleted dispatch from the Defense Expo. The Beijing parade's official showcase centered on the imposing LY-1 naval laser weapon, billed as China's most powerful to date and flanked by the People's Liberation Army's existing vehicle-mounted OW-5A laser systems during the event. But the quiet deployment of light arrow systems for security underscores growing confidence in directed energy weapons not just as military showpieces, but as practical air defense tools in sensitive domestic settings. Low-cost weaponized drones have become a growing security risk for governments around the world beyond the battlefield. 
In 2018, Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro narrowly survived an assassination attempt involving explosive-laden drones during a military event in Caracas. As recently as this past July, Russia cancelled its Navy Day parade in St. Petersburg for the first time ever for security reasons following a wave of Ukrainian drone attacks across the western port of the country. As parades and national celebrations become prime targets for drone attacks, lasers offer an appealing defense option, speed of light intercepts, near-infinite magazines, and the ability to precisely down aerial threats without spraying a densely populated area with bullets or explosive interceptors. Indeed, ABEX's parade support mission isn't the first time laser weapons have been tasked with drone defense outside of an active combat zone. In July 2024, the French government deployed a pair of silos made laser systems to secure the airspace over the country's Isle de France region during the 2024 Paris Olympics and Paralympics. Later that year, observers spotted what appeared to be a Chinese-made Shenung laser turret in Iran's capital of Tehran ahead of a rare public sermon from Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. For decades, lasers were paraded as visions of the future and in Beijing last week, they were actually on parade duty. Whether this marks the start of lasers as routine urban security architecture or was simply another stage demonstration, China's willingness to normalize directed energy use in its capital represents a milestone in the global laser wars and this shift could reshape how nations think about securing their skies.